A compound butter is just a fancy way of saying a flavored butter. Delicious, spread on a piece of bread, but also good on a warm steak or a piece of fish. Easy to make, and you can do it weeks ahead of time. You can make a compound butter any flavor you want, but of course the one ingredient that is always there is the butter, and it has to be the best quality butter you can find. Look for cultured butter when you're shopping for your butter in the grocery store, and make sure it's unsalted. You're going to season this butter the way you like it. So here's our butter. The next thing that's important is the temperature of the butter. It needs to be room temperature so that it will beat evenly and easily in the food processor. Again, you're gonna push there. If you can see your fingerprint, it's warm enough. Now, we're gonna use a food processor because that's the easiest way to do it. If you don't have a food processor, you could use a hand mixer, or if your butter is soft enough, you could actually beat it by hand. I'm gonna use a food processor today, just with the regular blade. We're gonna process this butter until it's smooth with no lumps. You're gonna scrape it down in between each time. Once it's smooth, it's time to add our flavor. Now today, I'm gonna make a very simple citrus herb butter. So I'm gonna add the zest of lime, lemon, orange, and some herb. I'm gonna to choose to use parsley today, but you can use anything you want here. Now the difference here is that I have chopped all of my ingredients first ahead of time with a knife. If you're in a hurry, you can throw all the ingredients in in their whole form and the food processor will chop everything up, but it won't be quite as pretty as if you do it by hand. In goes the lime zest. The zest is just the very outer edge of the peel. You don't want any of the pith in there, that's a bit bitter. So I've put lime zest, lemon zest, and orange zest in here. We're gonna put some chopped parsley in as well, and then we're just gonna pulse this together until it is all nicely mixed. Now, of course, we need this to taste great, so we're gonna add some salt. You can add pepper if you want to. Okay, so once it's all mixed up together, here comes the fun part. We're gonna clear some space for ourselves, and I'm gonna grab a piece of plastic wrap. Here it is, put that on your counter, and then spread your butter onto the plastic wrap in a log formation. Now fold the plastic wrap in half, and then use your hand to push the butter towards the folded edge of that plastic wrap, just like this. You can use a board scraper if you have one to really, really get all the butter towards that folded edge. And now we're gonna roll it up, grab the ends of that butter log, and start to spin it on the counter into the center of the log, making it round, sort of like a sausage. So once it's in that nice butter log shape, it needs to chill. So we're gonna take this and we can put it into the fridge, or if you're making this weeks ahead of time, put this into the freezer and know that it can last there for a couple months. Here's a butter that I made previously. When it's time to serve your compound butter, Really, you're waiting until everything else in the dinner is done. So, steak is warm on a plate. I've let this sit in refrigerated temperatures, or you can let it come to room temperature if you've had it in the freezer. All you have to do now is unroll it, cut off a slice, and stick it on top of that steak. There's a beautiful disc. It goes right on top of your warm steak, and now that will slowly melt. You'll have warm citrus herb butter all over your steak, or chicken, or fish, or perhaps just a piece of bread. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more basics, click over here. If you'd like to see everything I used in this recipe, click over here. And if you'd like more recipes for other compound butters, click on the description.